Good afternoon, Amy. It's Kerry here from Pacific Tide Alexis Cans. So what I would like to do for you and your mum and your dad is a high definition virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid Cruise. So basically, like I said to you, um, this vehicle is a one owner, full books, full service history. It's only done 12,000 Ks on it. So before I get into the vehicle itself, I just want to let you know another about the dealership itself. So we are one of two pre-owned dealerships here in far north Queensland. So we actually own this one on 77 Mulgrave Road. And the other pre-owned dealership is about south of us, two kilometres on the left hand side. And that's basically at 235 Mulgrave Road. So that's right next to our new franchise dealership Toyota itself, Lexus, Service and Parts. We also do own uh, opposite lockers, our four-wheel drive super center store, and actually all our Coral Motors does all our pre-owned vehicles and inspections as well too. So as you can see in the background there, that is actually our showroom floor. So it's two stories. And I'm not too sure if you've actually been in Cairns itself. That is the city or heart of final Queensland, Cairns itself. It's about 1.5 kilometers into the city. So just let you know that we hold up to about 160 to 200 cars at every month and we also buy the exactly the same amount of cars every month as well too so let's get straight into this 2020 toyota rav4 cruise hybrid it just basically said it's like only done 12,000 k's it does have a few features as an accessories on the vehicle itself as well too so i'm going to point them out to you make sure there is no dental scratches on the paint and also uh, go through the interior exterior of the motor vehicle so let's get straight down to the front bar. As you can see on the front bar itself, it's fitted out with the uh, sensors on the front bar and also fog lights. It also fitted out with a nice little nudge bar on the front of it. That's just a little accessory with your uh, front sensors on it as well too. And also um, your fog lights. So basically just having a look at that, how clean and tidy that is. Okay, just gonna go up onto the uh, bonnet as well itself just to make sure there is no uh, you know, stone chips or any marking or any blemishes in the paint. Fantastic, Amy, that looks really good. Just up onto the windscreen as well too. Just make sure there's no chips in the windscreen itself. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna have a look down on the passenger side. Just have a look at the paint itself. Just make sure there's no ripples in the paint. Fantastic, that looks really good. So I'm just gonna make my way down to the rear of the vehicle right now. Fantastic, that paint looks pretty good. Straight, clean, and tidy. Awesome, okay, so I'm gonna go up onto the uh, roof itself, just make sure there is no hull damage or any dents. You can see that the water is beating off that roof. Like I said, in Queensland at the moment, far north, we actually are got a bit of rain up here. Awesome. It looks like your sunroof. So, also the cruise actually does come with a sunroof as well. So, also fitted out with the uh, windshields on it. So, as you can see, you've got the windshields on it as well, too. On the mirror itself, so it's color coded with your blinkers and your mirrors itself. It's your hybrid badge. And then, like I said, I mentioned that it actually has got an accessory on it. So it's got little side steps on it as well too. It's an all-wheel drive. All right, I'm just gonna open up the passenger door. Just gonna have a look at the trim itself. So it's got the leather trimming in through the uh, door trim, up onto the top part, and also down onto the uh, kick panel. I just wanna make sure I can show you that, how clean and tidy it's been looked after. It's got the nice little effect, rough about four on it. It's fitted out with the uh, factory floor mats as well. Up onto the dash, so you can see the nice stitching through the dash. All right, fantastic. Over onto the seats, you can see the seats are nice and plush, so they look like these sporty wrap-up seats. And they're full leather seats as well too. On both side, passenger, driver's side and rear as well too. I'll get through the log books as well. You can see on the handles, it's got a nice chrome trimming as well too. Okay, looking on the passenger seat, uh, door trim, sorry. You can see that the leather trimming around the back and sides, down onto the kick panel, up onto the back seat. And basically, 
you can see that it's actually you know nice and tidy been looked after really well fantastic okay so i'm just going to look from the rear part now just going to go straight down to the rear bar just to see how what it looks like it's got your twin exhausts on it as well with the chrome trimming fantastic it looks really good you've got your rear sensors on it like i said to you it's the cruise hybrid model then you also got your tow bar as well as you can see that it's fitted out with the tow bar as well so this vehicle has not been towed at all but it has been fitted there so electric tailgate fantastic looks really good okay looking down onto the uh, back part you normally see a lot of luggage marks on the rear but this is actually pretty good so being only 12,000 k's on it it's fitted out with a rear mat liner and also you've got your powerful shelf there as well too so it's nice to have that to hide things away you can see it's got the jbl sound system in it as well it's a really good quality sound system and then as you can see on the back of the uh, window it's got the uh dash cam as well too all right just looking waiting for that uh Real tailgate to go down. Fantastic, that looks good. So just looking on the driver's side now, down onto the paint, just want to make sure there's no ripples on this side. Going down on the paint itself. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. Very straight, very clean, very tidy. Awesome. So just gonna go around basically have a look up on the roof on this side fantastic looks really good nice little rear spoiler on the back of it as well okay so just looking in the uh, passenger door now as you can see on the door trims got that nice good stitching through it down on the kick panel basically up through the back seat fantastic okay so i'm just going to pop into the driver's side door now just going to have a look at a few features on the door itself as you can see this is the driver's side door you've got your electric windows central locking your electric mirrors and plus also your fold-in mirrors as well too so and on top of that you've actually got also your chrome dial trimming and handles inside and also your settings in your driver's side seat so your first and second setting Okay, looking in the uh, door trim, up onto the floor mats, through the dash. Before I get any further, I just want to show you and mention that it has got two keys with it. Fantastic, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm just about to pop inside here now. I'm just going to give you a bit of a demonstration of the uh, vehicle when it starts up. So it's just a power button. You can see that it's got the... Uh, cluster with all nice and digital and if I take my foot off the brakes the acceleration will kick in with the hybrid motor coming through with the batteries so as you can see on the uh, display you can, it's got and got 12,418,000 on the clock fantastic it looks pretty good the seats itself are all electric so I'm um, just before I go away from the steering wheel right now Amy I'm just going to have a look around the steering wheel itself Fantastic, looks good. I'm just going to show you some functions on the steering wheel. As you can see, you've got your volume controls, voice recognition, then you've got your Bluetooth there as well too. So uh, on the right side of the steering wheel, you've got your lane departure. Also, you've got your adaptable radar cruise control as well too. And then you've got your tuning your um, stations and mode system. So basically going through that, you can see that there now. I've just changed it into a radio station. Turning that volume up a little bit, just giving you a little bit of listen to the uh, volume in it. You can see it's got the sat navigation, you can split the screen or put the big screen on. Also you've got the reverse camera in that as well too. You can see like the satellite camera on the left hand side and then you've got the right hand side camera that just looks from the rear part as well too. 
also got the viewing on the front of it. So if you were to park up in front in a shopping center, you've got the viewing as well too. So if I take that off and press the viewing, that just shows you a whole viewing of the vehicle itself. What does that look like? Pretty good. That just shows you where it's standing right now. It's pretty good, eh? So, also, like I said to you, um, you've got the display sort of side to give you a bit of a demonstration as well too. And then it does give you, if you click onto that, it just tells you, shows you around the vehicle. Fantastic, looks pretty good. I'm going to give you another different view on that side. Alright, so just going down onto the air conditioning sound. So you've got your dual aircon system, front and left side. Um, basically, you've got your heated seats on your right and passenger side. And then you've got your traction control button. Also down below that, you've got your wireless charger. So if you've got your phone, you can put your phone on that and you can actually charge up your phone. In below that you've got your USB in there as well and you, you've got your chargeable so if you're accessory chargeable all right so just having a look at the uh, gear knob you've got your nice clean gear knob so there's no wear and tear on that side as well then you've got your trailing so basically you've got your eco and your sports mode with your transmission and then you've got your EV means electric vehicle mode so you can change it into hybrid mode you've got your cup holes in the center part as well too Fantastic. So I'm just going to go up onto the dash right now. You can see it's got the nice tweeters on the uh, center pillar. All right, fantastic. Looks good. All right, so I'm just going to go into the log books and tell you that it's got your owner's manual and you've got your nav set navigation manual as well too. Also, you've got your service books. In that service book as well itself, it's actually also got your, tells you that, when it was purchased as well too and also it has got cat rating servicing on it as well too so on that side Amy um, has done its first service as its pre-check of a thousand Ks and then it's done its second service as well too as you can see there 8901 on the clock so as I can say um, I'm just about to go finish up with the uh, uh, features now um, I'm just going to go underneath the blind right now, as you can see. Alright Amy, I'm just about to pop up the uh, bonnet and give you a look underneath the uh, hood. It is an engine, but it's very, very clean and tidy. It is pretty quiet as well, so as the hybrid version, you would, you would notice that that actually is pretty quiet. All right, Amy, thank you very much for watching. For you and your mum and dad, I hope I've answered every question you wanted to. to. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, don't hesitate to give me a call back. Thank you very much for watching. Talk soon.